absurden Chinglia ja Tachluki auch such Tachtot. They hunt whales with poison spears. Check it out, ready? Yeah, I'm gonna see this. Oh, no way. Oh. Free fall for whale lance. Yeah, in a cognac house. Oh, that's so cool. This is actually really significant because this is gonna be a whaling lance. There, it's, it's, it's a preform. You can see how they saw it and snapped it to make it. Well, it's special because it's found in context. I mean, that's, that's what is really important is we find a lot of those in out of context, but in context, this ties a lot of the technology, the last 4,000 years of technology yeah. Five, together. Yeah, actually. Yeah, that's really cool. But we never find them in archeological sites yeah. because I, and it is because of the whaling cult. Um, these things had a lot of power and um, whalers were not allowed to live with normal people. They were not bad or, and not good, but they were just kept over there because of the power that they had and knowledge. That's, that's the first the person. one. That's one of the whales and the other one we haven't got on the paper yet. The human in between is just amazing. It is. All things related to whales was very secret and kept apart from society. I mean, this is a very, very, very powerful magic was associated with these things. I wouldn't describe it as being magic. Uh, I'd describe it more as having a, a role in society that was, I guess, an elite status. They were considered elite, actually, but... Well, elite, but they didn't live very long. <laughs> you know, because you're dealing with poison that if you cut yourself, you're dead within a minute. Oh. Monk's hood, the aconite poison, is a lipid-based poison. So if you just put it on here with water or some dye, it wouldn't stick. It needs fat. It adheres to fat. So it's, it, you have to have some sort of fat as a sort of... Adhesive. Adhesive. Yeah. And then use human fat to render it, rendered human fat to make it stick. And the cool thing with these here, I was sitting there talking to my mom. She was describing to me in Lutic in English about whaling lances. And she's like, oh yeah, my mom told me that when the Russians came, they used, tried to use the metal, but the poison wouldn't stick to it. And so they ended up switching, going back to using lances up until the American period. They would dig up bodies, you know, powerful people, um, and boil them down and make mummy fat. And there was a lot to that. Uh. One of the whalers came up to Baranoff, for instance, and said, as a compliment, when you're dead, I'm going to dig you up and make poison with you as a compliment. And I'm sure if you talk to whalers and Aleutic people 200 years ago, they would say it was the mummy fat that killed the whale. Um, you know, it's only today we go, oh, of course it's the poison. <laughs> the forehead or the head, the whale, you get the dorsal fin, and you get the tail. There might be just stories of the whales that gave themselves to him. I mean, it would explain such a big sight here, especially with all the whales. And we're sitting here having lunch watching whales jump two miles over. <laughs> and the whale's tail, when it went into the fluke, it would break off. And that's what you wanted to have happen. You want to hit it right here because that paralyzes this part of the whale. And so it can't swim. It rolls over and drowns. Holmberg says they wanted to hit here. The fluke uh -huh. was the primary spot. Secondary spot was the, the tail. I think it would die after three days if it was hit here. And it would die five days in the tail. They had all these rates. So only one person went out in a boat to get a whale? I, I, one, and then in Russian times, a lot of times two. You'd have an apprentice in the back. And the front guy would, would, would do it, and the, and, the, and the apprentice would learn how to whale. And after you killed the whale, a lot of it was to get the whale to come to the right place in the shore. Um, you would have to close the bay ritually with the whale fat so that the whale couldn't escape the bay. What they do is they take the mummy fat after you struck the whale, and you'd You'd put it across the bay so the whale couldn't escape. You couldn't cross that line of mummy fat. You'd drag it behind your kayak. And there were certain rituals that were performed when whalers did take a whale. You know, like the women being secluded and being docile to help with the men while they're out 
and then the men not eating for three days after they've struck a whale to ensure that the whale does come back. And then it would float up dead after three days. I mean, if it didn't stay in the area, maybe the people in Kaguyak would get the whale. I guess the Russians even found Kodiak whales in Unalaska. Was there a role of shaman in the um, culture? The hunter was the shaman. Uh, there was ah. a shaman, yeah, no. The person? Shaman? Shaman, that's, that's what I think. And then somebody who's trying to bring whales here, but also show them the respect. But you can see why people wouldn't really want to hang out with these people who are really in the other world, so to speak. You know, they'd, when they dug up a body, they wouldn't dig it up, they'd twirl around it, and the body would rise up on its own and then they take it back to the cave to make the poison with it. In terms of whaling, that disappeared in the 30s, and nobody's actually brought that back. Um, because again, what Patrick was talking about in terms of the sacredness of the whaling cult, and who was allowed to hunt and who wasn't. And um, the, the old whalers didn't pass that knowledge on. Because of the fear of the abuse of the poison and all the other um, knowledge that used to be there. For the Thule, whaling is like, whales were like 90% of their diet. That's all their caloric needs. Whereas in Kodiak, we have cod, salmon, sea lions. We have a very diverse set of resources. So whaling is not essential. You don't, if they didn't kill a whale, they wouldn't starve. Whereas in Barrow, they did. So it was, they focused more of their energy on it. Whereas in Kodiak, um, it's more of a prestige item. A whaling was very, very important, all the whale bone and stuff. Um, and also the oil was a, was a prestige item. When the Russians came, and this is something nobody ever talks about, is from 1784 to 1819, during Shelikov and then Baranov's time, we lost 90% of the people. What, what happened to them? You know that Shelikov and Brandt didn't want to kill off their workers. Well, they took all the men and made them go out hunt sea otters year round or as much as they could while nobody was putting up fish and food. And so when you have a large population and there's no food, and as you guys have seen how quickly the weather changes out here, if you don't have food, you're going to starve. And, and so in the wintertime, I think that a lot of people starve. When we looked at the glyphs on the right side facing the ocean, you've got anthropomorphic scenes, you've got whale scenes, and you've got dancing people. And then on the inside towards Alatak Bay area, you've got all the happy faces and people, but mainly faces. You've got a couple of whales and a couple of killer whales, but that's it. So the majority of the animals on one side and the people are on the other side. And I think that when they took whales out here based on the currents, it brought that whale back in, and especially back into the beaches over here where we were looking at the glyphs. My own personal take, and I think that um, Patrick and anybody else who would actually study these are mainly because of the whales that are coming by. And based on what we've learned so far, and we can actually verify that these are during that transitional phase where they really started hunting more whales. It might have been a way for ritually trying to bring the whales in and then give thanks to the whales for them providing for the community. And I've always argued that there's continuity in whaling from 5,000 years ago to, to 200 years ago on Kodiak. They, made their lances the same way, and here it is.